again. Today I wanted to show you how I made this beer mug cake. I stacked this cake as a double barrel, although one tier had three layers and one had two. I filled my cake tiers separately. You might notice that the cake board for this tier is a bit smaller than the actual cake layers. Since the two cake tiers are the exact same size, I don't want the board to stick out in the middle. Spread a layer of frosting on top of the bottom of the two tiers and then inserted some straws for support for the top. It's really the exact same process that you would do for a normal two-tier cake. After stacking the tiers, I spread a thick layer of buttercream over the top and placed a cake board over the top of that to use as my guide. I leveled my cake and then used two straight edges to get the cake boards lined up exactly. This is very important. After doing that, I leveled the cake once again. Next, I trimmed off any cake that extended out past the cake boards or even just too close for my liking. Time to slather on the buttercream. I applied one full coat, scraped off the excess using my awesome Cake Heads Extra Tall Bench Scraper, chilled the cake, and then applied a second coat and scraped off the excess once again. Since the cake was going to be covered with dark fondant, I wasn't very concerned with crumbs, as you can see. While I waited for the cake to chill, I covered my cake board with black fondant. I used some royal icing to stick the cake to the board. I then rolled out some light brown fondant. I used my wood grain texture mat to texture the entire piece of fondant. I cut out strips of fondant just slightly taller than the cake and two inches wide. Dark brown and charcoal gray petal dust brought these wood pieces to life. After gently removing the cake board from the top by using a sharp knife and sliding it underneath, I wet the entire cake with water and began applying the panels one by one, cutting off the excess on the top with scissors as needed.
Next, I rolled out some black fondant to create the metal strips that go around a traditional beer mug, although I'm not actually sure what they're called. I calculated the circumference of my cake and rolled out two strips long enough to go around the cake. They were one and three quarter inches wide. Silver luster dust made these look amazing. I chose where I wanted the metal strips to go and marked all the way around my cake to give myself a guide. Added piping gel along my guide and attached my strips to the cake, cutting off the excess in the back. I really sort of eyeballed the placement and the straightness as I figured the old traditional beer mugs were not perfect. I rolled out some more black fondant and made a bunch of tiny circles to add in as the nails along the metal strips. Don't forget to dust these with silver luster dust as well. I created the handle by rolling out a thick snake and inserting floral wire through the center of it. I bent it to my desired shape and then applied the same silver luster dust. I decided to add another straw into the top tier of the cake to add a little stability for the metal rod that would hold the beer bottle. I then inserted the metal rod into the center of the cake. After testing it out, I wrapped it with floral wire to ensure that it was protected from the cake. I first checked to make sure I had bent the rod at the right place, and then I wrapped modeling chocolate around the base of the rod to look like the beer pouring out of the bottle. I gave the beer some texture using a modeling tool. I also made the modeling chocolate go up just high enough to go slightly inside the bottle to make sure the bottle didn't spin. Next, I put buttercream all over the top of the cake to look like the beer foam. I even tried to make it look like it was overflowing in just a couple places. I inserted the handle into the side of the cake. I also ended up using a little bit of candy melts to ensure that the handle was good and stuck. I decorated my cake board and that was that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.